All right, if you could, please, let's copy down this circuit. I want you to color in this circuit, and we're going to see if we can evaluate this. Um, you're going to pause so that you can make sure you've had a chance to get out ahead of me. Um, I'm thinking for this problem, the first step is we want to find the total resistance. Okay, and then once we've got the total resistance, we can get the total current coming out of the battery, and then we'll start to fill in this whole big board here. All right, I've got my four resistors all listed out. I bracketed those together because those appear to be parallel to each other. I bracketed the 5 and the 20 because those appear to be parallel to each other. And this green wire in between is putting left side in series with the right side. Okay, We've got a 72-volt battery. I've already got that filled in as my total voltage. Why don't you hit pause, see if you can come up with what our total resistance is here. Okay, so when you go through and do this problem, uh, in parallel, we're going to want to take 1 over 24 plus 1 over 12, just for the left side. That should equal 1 over the total resistance just on the left side of this circuit. Okay, when you go through and do the math to that, there are a couple steps along the way that you've practiced already. I'm just going to give away, this should end up being a total of 8 ohms of resistance on the left side. through and see that this total resistance on the right side should be 4 ohms. So now that we see we've got 8 ohms on the left side, we've got 4 ohms on the right side. Since those are in series with each other, the total resistance of this whole thing, we're going to add the left side right side together. We're going to have 12 total ohms of resistance for the entire circuit. So now what is that telling us? Now we can look at this and say the current coming out of the battery is because of a 72 volt battery pushing charge through 12 ohms of total resistance. Okay, back to this equation here, voltage equals current times resistance. We know our voltage, 72 volts equals current times 12 ohms. We should be able to do the math for that and solve to see that our total current comes out to six amps of current. But now here's the thing, we've got to figure out what comes next when we try to evaluate each individual resistor. How do we know the current going through each resistor? How do we know the voltage across each resistor? We do have a strategy for that that I tried to introduce lightly last week, uh, but I want, to, I want to mention it again today. We're going to be able to use this for a lot of different scenarios, okay? So here's what I want you to consider. Here we've mentioned that these two resistors together combined have a resistance of 8 ohms. Here's what I want to mention. All right, I'm going to do like this. I'm going to take, and I'm going to cover that up, and let's just pretend for a minute. Just pretend for a minute that we're not looking at a pair of resistors, but we're looking at a single 8-ohm resistor, right? If I replace those two with a single 8-ohm resistor like this, now you'd have 8 in series with 4. You're still going to get 12 ohms of total resistance. You're still going to get the same voltage divided by that resistance equals 6 amps of current. Just work with me for a minute. Basically, what I want to do here is see if we can figure out what is this red to green voltage difference. And this is one method that you can use. There's more than one method, but this is the one that I like using. I think it's very uh, helpful and valuable for a lot of different scenarios. So here's the question I would ask. If you knew the total current coming out of the battery was 6 amps, how much of that 6 amps would go through this one resistor if that one resistor sat there all by itself. Okay, The answer to that, anytime you've got a resistor sitting all by itself, is that all of the current, all six amps, would go through that one resistor. Okay, So now here's what I want to propose to you is, can you see we know two variables here? There's a third variable we can solve for. Look, let me use this as my check mark. We know the current going through 8 ohms of resistance. We should be able to solve for the voltage. And you might be wondering, well, wait a minute, which voltage are we solving for? Is that the 24 or the 12 ohm resistor? Really, that voltage is the red-green voltage difference. The difference, sure I understand. Sorry, the difference between my red wire and my green wire okay, looks to me like it's going to be 6 times 8. Is that 48? We're going to have a 48 volt difference from red to green. Okay, so let me put that right up here. Um, if we connected a voltmeter here, I need to make a little room, excuse me. 
if I connected a voltmeter here and here, we would find that that voltage difference from red to green is 48, 48 volts. Okay, so knowing that, which one do we apply that to? Well, here's now the point where I can take this off of here. And say, well, there's what our circuit really looks like. Okay. We don't actually just have a single resistor sitting there. We've got a couple of resistors parallel to each other. This red-green color difference is 48 volts. Well, look here. If I connect here and here, that 24 volt, excuse me, the 24 ohm resistor has 48 volts across it. Okay. If I connected my voltmeter here and here, that 12 ohm resistor has 48 volts across it. Turns out that both of those will have 48 volts across them. Okay. So here's what I'm gonna want you to do. I'm gonna ask you to pause and you're going to now continue on here. Try to do that same thing with this set of resistors just to practice it. You know that energy here, imagine all that current going from this junction all the way through to this junction. Even though we know it's splitting up, imagine this was a single four ohm resistor. If all six amps went through that 4 ohm resistor, we could calculate the voltage difference from this green to blue wire. So it looks to me like the voltage from green to blue should be 24 volts. Okay, let's see if that makes any sense. All right, if we look at the voltage difference from red to green, plus the voltage difference from green to blue, okay, 48 plus 24, just doing that one time each, 48 plus 24, double check my work, that should add up to 72, and that's a pretty good verification that things are working properly and following consistent rules. All right, so now the last step here, let's just go ahead and let's see if we can figure out voltage divided by resistance should equal our current. Okay, so I'll do that as my last step. Voltage divided by resistance equals current. Let's see if we can do these off the top of our head. 48 divided by 24. That comes out to 2 amps. and head back to the battery. Okay, so we're just about wrapped up with this here. You can finish the rest of this off here. Voltage times current should give you power. Check all of those, hit pause and try that out, and I will uh, post those answers momentarily also. I already did these. Voltage times current should equal power. Check all those answers, please. Okay. Voltage times current equals power, and notice this. This is a nice worksheet. Okay, this is going to be what's due this week. Um, there are some parts on here where, for example, right in here, you might be able to implement the strategy that we did up on the board here. Okay, if you look right up here, that's basically what we ended up doing. Um, so try out that strategy when you go through that circuit analysis. Okay, I'm, come to a Zoom meeting and I will show you a little bit more. Have a great day. We'll see you.